Okay, I'm back. The internal memory on my camera was full. From the previous video, I forgot to format my camera. I don't have an external card. Basically, a card that goes in and out of the camera that holds like a gig or two gigs or of information. I don't have one of those cards. I basically just use what my camera came with and it didn't come with one of those cards. So whatever, whenever my camera gets full, it, it just won't record anymore, and that's what had what was happening. But yes, I will, I will tell the person if they continue with me and continue bugging me or come back to the shop a week later and say the same thing to me. I'll tell them in Spanish. I've even gone to the point where there's a one particular lady that has said that to me plenty of times. I don't know why she likes to bug me about it. I've told her it doesn't bug me and it's my face that I have to walk around with every day and I love myself. But, um, uh, what was I going to say? Well, I've told her mm, <sighs> that she was very, very, very rude and that I can be very rude right back that we live in the United States and our main language is English and she's coming into a shop speaking Spanish and that I was respectful enough to speak Spanish to her because I do know the language but I can tell her you how long have you been in this country you should know English by now I know it's rude and straightforward, but Jesus, remember how she, I'm just telling you how she made me feel a few times, not once, not twice, not three, not four, not five times. Um, I don't, I did it, and I didn't do it the first time. I did it, I think she did it to me like four or five times. It's a particular lady. And you know what? After I told her that, I, have a, I asked her how long have you been in this country, and she said like 30-something years. And I said, well, it would be wrong for me to tell you the same way you don't know me, and you approached me and said to me, oh my God, your face, or oh my God, what is that on your face, or oh my God, are you okay, what happened to you? It's not even that bad. Um... The same way she did that to me, I could have told her right when she walked into my store, which I don't. I get gang members in my store, and I don't treat them any different. Seriously. I get some ghetto people in my store, and I don't treat them any different. I give them the same service I would give a rich person. The same way I speak to anybody, I speak to everybody. No different until you push me there. Um, I've had girls, teenage moms, come into my shop and then all of a sudden they're always coming into my shop. And I've had girls tell me that they've never had a female in their lives that actually took the time to treat them human or treat them as a human with respect. And I've had con deep, deep, deep conversations with particular people that come into my shop. Sometimes, you know, there's some people I don't have personal conversations to, but there's some girls that are teen moms, and I, used, I was a teen mom, that I notice come in just to chat with me. And if they ask for advice, if they ask for it, I'll give it. If they just want me to listen, I'll listen. But if somebody's going to come in really negative, I won't listen. I, I have the choice to say no, and I have said no before. But I'm just saying, um, yeah, I can be feisty. Don't hurt me a few times and expect me not to say something. I'll do it as an example. I'll, you know, like I've said to you, I told her, the lady, to, as an example to her, I said to her, would you like it if you came into my shop? And that would be the first thing I told you without me even knowing you? She said no. That she's tried to take English classes and it just didn't work out. 
and I told her, well, I can say the same thing to you. I've tried removing my sunspots, and I'm in the process of removing them naturally with lemon. But I don't think I need to go there with you, but obviously I've had to because uh, I've given you an example how rude it would be of me to say that to you, but you thought it was okay for y you to say that to me. I've never seen the lady again. After that, she's never come in my shop again, and that's okay. I have too much respect for myself, and I have too much respect for the life God gave me to have to have struggled to get where I'm at. Me and my husband, my family, we've struggled to get to where we're at. And we've worked too hard to get to where we're at. Even the video camera that I'm recording off of, we... We struggled to get it, and that's why, it, you know, I extra appreciate. But, um, we have worked too hard to accept people to speak to us in a certain manner more than once. Mm, no. These are zigzag papers. I don't use them for what they're for. I one time tried my hand at doodling on one of these papers before I even had the jelly plate years ago, before I had any clue what deli paper was. Um, I doodle, I would doodle on these little pieces of paper and then after I was done doodling them I would Mod Podge and then I would put them on my nails. And then I would get the, a design on my nails. The whole tissue would transfer to my nails. So I have these around. And since they do become clear and I want to use them up, why not put them here? And I am hoping that I turn this one into a journal cover. I've done it before. I do have journals that I've made. But I've gifted them out. So I don't have any with me. And I have had this kind of paper. But I have gifted those out also. The paper that I do have right now is a different technique where you layer on top of wax paper. I have a video on that also and it's called, and there's a few ladies on YouTube that I just recently started watching. Um, it's called fabric paper where, I have a video if you want to see it I think I know that I named it something crazy woman's quilting. I didn't know that it was fabric paper. I didn't know that there was a name for it. So when I did it, it was something that I came up with in my head. And just a week or two ago, I started realizing that there's other people doing it. As a matter of fact, the person who inspired me to come up with the idea was Gina Ahrens. She was doing it on, what is that thing, that mat, nonstick mat. I finally, I have one because Lori gifted me one. She was doing somewhat of that kind of technique. It's called a skin, an acrylic skin, where you get acrylic paints. And you put it on the nonstick surface. You put acrylic paints, and I think you put glue, I'm not too sure. But I did. And... That got me going. After watching Gina Aarons, I didn't have a nonstick surface, and I have the videos up if you guys want to watch them. They're one of my first few videos that I when I started on YouTube. I didn't have the nonstick pad then, um, but what I did have back then was a tile. So I did it on a tile, and from the tile, I moved on to trying it on trash bags. I tried it on fabric. I tried it on Oh my goodness, anything that I thought was nonstick. 
those sheets I still have. I did gift some away in Happy Mail. I love sending out Happy Mail. Um, what was I saying? I'll remember right now. I'm not that old. Let's see. I don't remember. You guys know? Of course you do. Can you shout to me what I was talking about? Oh, this time I'm going to follow through, definitely, and create this into a journal cover. I watched, uh, what is her name? Goodness, I have you in my mind. 20 minutes, half hour, three hours if I want. Sorry, that's Kelly Donovan I was watching right now. Let's see. D? Is it D? Do you guys notice that YouTube changed? Let's see. What is your name, my love? Danny B. That's what she calls herself. Danielle Batog, I think, is how you pronounce her name. Um, she's doing this also. She was inspired by Gina because Gina just recently put up a video of doing this. But Gina does mention that I inspired her her, which is Gina, I inspired Gina to use up her scraps. Um, and I guess that Danny B seen Gina do it, so Danny B did it, so it's gone down quite a few of us ladies. Um, I did it, uh, Lori Richard Haley did it, um, Eileen McKinnons did it, and Danny B is doing it or done it or has done it but Danny B inspired me today um, she used rings to finish off or to start her journal she likes to use rings instead of bonding it sewing it together or anything permanent she doesn't like to do that with them she likes to use her rings so I was thinking well I've inspired all these ladies. I'm going to finish mine off today. And as soon as it's dry, I think I'm going to add some paint. And then I'm going to stamp on mine. What else am I going to do? I'm going to do some rub-ons. I'm going to doodle on it. And then... What else am I going to do on it? Whatever it is I'm going to do, I'll record it. And when I'm done recording, then you guys remember what it, what I'll do. Then you guys remember, oh, Secret said she was going to do some of that. And then most likely, I'm just scattering paper like, like uh, confetti on my drop paper. That's the best thing. Like, I can talk and talk and talk. And because this is not one of those projects where I need to think, I can talk, 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 talk. I want to start moving towards the edges because I'm trying to stay on the camera. I'm building up the middle more than I am the edges. So let me lift the camera. Remember, you guys are hanging upside down from my tripod. So I'm able to bring you guys up some. There we go. That's as far up as you guys will go. What else am I going to do? I'm going to add probably some of my jelly papers. Let me start, let me flip this and start working. On the edges. You 
you guys have seen me do this process before but not on such a big scale and I think that the last time you guys see me do this was with my punch out paper basically paper that I've punched flowers out of let me go get some a spray bottle I know I have it around here but I'm looking for it and I don't want to throw my knee out so be patient please Down my water. I love to spray water. I've done this so many times that I know that by spraying water, the paper becomes more flexible and lays down so much better. I forgot to tell Lori that, but um, it is in one of my videos where I suggest you guys get a spray bottle when doing this technique, and it lays your papers down flat. have an old brayer that I don't use on my jelly plate that I like to roll once I do the water just to evenly distribute all of this yummy glue and water and it lays the paper down nicely so if you're having problems because either you're using different thicknesses of paper my suggestion to you ladies and gentlemen is that you spray water your paper becomes collapsible your paper becomes pliable and it works with you you see that I still have some more paper I want to get rid of, so that's what I'm going to continue doing. It's like a paper party here. I want to stop using this one. Whoops. And I want to use some more of my jelly prints. And I also want to lay this one here. That was gifted to me. And it, it'll become see-through, so no problem there. You see how it doesn't want to lay? You just add some water. And this print here that you see, that was sent to me by from um, Glory Haley Richardson. And I know I have washi tape that I want to lay also. It's the washi tape that doesn't want to stick anymore. I want to lay in there and I have a few of those. I need to look for them. I know they're in a jar and I see them all the time. Here's a few pieces. You might recognize them because they've come from Happy Mail from you ladies. I know there's more. There they are. This is from my own deli plate print. I think that's gorgeous. I like my own stuff. Also, and this is from a border tutorial I did. You see how much easier the paper lays down when there's glue and more water sprayed on top? And the process is more freeing when the paper wants to work with you. I have more 
more tape that I need to use up that's no longer wanting to stick. Like some of it wants to and some of it doesn't want to. Some that I've ripped accidentally but I still want to be able to use it. I mean, look at um, even this little piece I saved. All of these little details and tiny pieces, they become part of the most prettiest part of your art. And nothing matches, and that's what I love about it. Very mixed media. It's in the name itself, right? Mixed media. Here's another little tiny piece, <laughs> and I'll use that too. Just looking around. Once it starts to dry up, then you can go back and start laying them down even more. Okay. It's getting heavy. That's a good sign. Yes, I know it folded over, and that's okay. I have some pixelized paper printouts that I've printed out before I knew what I was doing, meaning before I knew um, how to print and how to save images, and, and I never threw those away and I want to use those. Balls itching. It's a great, 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 great way to use up scraps. And if any of it rips, Remember, it's glue, so you can use other pieces to hold it down. Just mix some water in there to use the final amount of glue. some more tape that needs to be used up.
and I have to go make some more glue and that's what I'm going to do and then I'll come back later and I'm going to let my camera charge up some more and then I'm going to let this dry and see where we're at and it's still early enough in the night <laughs> for me and this won't be uploaded till tomorrow morning anyways by the time it's uploaded it'll be morning um, I'll let my camera charge itself I'm gonna let my husband back in because he has some work to do we got bills to pay okay see you guys in a little bit bye